What's happening, everybody? This is the Big Jew, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV: The After Years. All right. Uh, yeah. In between this episode and the last one, I killed off me the uh, spare monks because I really do want Yang and uh, Ursula to gain levels. I really don't care if uh, the other monks do or not. I'm just going. Yeah, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? All right, sweet. So let's keep heading. Let's keep uh. Exploring the uh, impact crater. See what else is over here. Yeah, rested it. I rested with the tent a couple times to set the moon phase to uh, to a uh, new moon because we're gonna need that. So it's gonna be a little bit better than it was before. Like, yeah. So we can use uh, Ursula's chakra to the to its best potential and all that like, good stuff. So. Yeah. It's not really that bad, ooh, it's not really that bad with, uh, just Yang and Ursula, but you gotta just keep an eye out for their hit points, watch their hit points and stuff like that, so. But we should be okay. Oh, you may want to have a, you may want to put the entire PSP in front of the camera there, buddy. I think I already went through here, but... Well, if I didn't, then, well, here you go. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and give her that silver armlet. Why not? Let me give you that. There you go. Okay. This is mostly water enemies here. Or strong to fire, so, yeah. Alright. Yeah, go ahead and. Yeah, we get fairy claws, which are nice. Hmm, huh, that with the metal knuckles. I can give it some fairy claws there. Eh? Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Now we're on the bottom of the uh, impact crater. Cool. Oh, that's right, yeah. That, that gravestone. Forgot about this. Nice. Easy enemies. Oh! Huh. Okay. Huh. Could that be us? No. Oh, could be, could be. Uh-oh. Oh, it's just the sylphs. Hmm? Who's they? Who the hell is they? Maybe they're talking about the uh, mysterious girl from uh, the earlier chapters. So we came all this way just to visit a gravestone. You can't be serious. Oh, but you can leave like. But you can leave pretty easily. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Sweet. Get a high potion, cool, I guess. Awesome. So now we gotta go all the way through Mount Hobbs to get back to Fabul. That's just wonderful. I forget if anything happens. Probably not, probably nothing. I would go through here off screen, but I forget if something happens or not, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I mean, it's whatever, it's not gonna take that long. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more potions. In particular, some high potions. But get some more regular potions too. All that good stuff. Yeah, this this isn't gonna take long. It shouldn't, anyways. And the enemies are easy too. I mean, like auto fighting really makes fights 
much easier to deal with in this game. Oh wow, a zoo. Damn. Even zoos are easy to beat. <laughs> oh, this might take long. <laughs> I don't want to use kick because kick doesn't really do much damage. Not at the moment, anyway. It will, but not at the moment. Moving right along. Moving right along. Yes. How exciting is this? What the hell is happening here? Oh, come on. Now what? Yeah, as you can see, this is before... This is right before uh, Kane invades... Uh, Fabul. So that's why I didn't want to continue Kane's chapter because, well, you do this in Kane's chapter. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright then, let's go back to Fabul. Well, I don't think there is monster. Damn it. That was like a storyline thing where... We didn't encounter any monsters, but apparently not. That sucks. Why'd they make Mount Hobbs bigger? Like, what the hell happened to that? It? Like, it's pretty weird. I mean, I like it, just because, you know, it's like... A lot better than just having the same old Mount Hobbs, but still, like, it's annoying. Kind of. I don't know, not really. But yeah, this is a pretty good way to uh, grind up uh, Young and Ursula. Because we really don't need um, the other monks at all, in my opinion. Not yet. We will need them, but not but not yet. Later on, definitely. So that didn't take too long, did it? I mean, I suppose I didn't need to do that, but that I mean, doesn't matter, it really doesn't. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal up. Go ahead and save, may as well. And let's go ahead and tell the Chancellor that we're going to be under attack pretty soon because of the airships that are heading our way. Well, we'll take them on, like we always do. Yeah, Ursula's right. We gotta fight for what we like to do. Mm. Or fight for you know what we what we uh hold dear to us rather. Yeah. Oh boy, huh. gee, what does this remind us of? Ah, finally, Yang comes to his senses, and he's like, "No, you're a princess. So if anything happens to me, you're going to be in charge." Their first, their first move is going to be them trying to attack us. Right? Yep. And we have another uh, monk with us, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Nice. These enemies are all pretty freaking easy. 
And it's the exact same thing that happens in Final Fantasy IV, the original game, by the way. It's lame. Like, this is stupid. I really don't understand why I have to repeat events from the first Final Fantasy IV game. I mean, it's pretty cool, too, but, like, I really, honestly, like, it's kind of like lack of originality. Yeah. Like, look, the exact same thing is happening. This is so weird. I'm sorry. The exact same enemies, too. Really? The exact same enemies? Don't even need to worry about fighting them any strategic- like, fighting them strategically at all. Because... I don't need to. Because these enemies are easy enough. Which is sad. Real sad. But whatever, I guess it's good levels and stuff. Huh. To fight alongside you and use chakra on you because you can't use uh because we can't use healing stuff. He will stay here and beat enemies that we beat before 15 years ago or something, whatever. Don't know how long it is between Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy IV the after years. I'm guessing it's somewhere between 15 and 20 years. Because Cecil's kid's all grown up. And yes, this would be Kane. It's not Yang. It's Kane. Uh oh. Nope. He's here to help yourself to the wind, Crystal. <laughs> and Ursula is gonna fight him. That's interesting. I think this is just like a fight where you have to die. I'm gonna prolong it anyway. What? Oh. Stay focused and use chakra on yourself. I think we actually have to beat him, to be quite honest. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Nice. Oh, well, he's weak at least. Nice. Yeah. That's why I wanted only Young and Ursula to uh, be fighting because I wanted them to gain enough levels to take down Kane easily. Is he gonna get the crystal, anyways? Of course. Really? I highly doubt that, but whatever. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. Pretty much. Yep. Take back to Crystal by going to a uh, Baron. Yep. Definitely. Just like in the original Final Fantasy IV. Ursula's but Ursula's like, but I want to go. Yep, we're gonna be heading to Baron. See Cecil about it. Yeah, you're not really. You're 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 not gonna like what you're gonna see there, buddy. <laughs> Just saying. Hmm. Okay.
Okay then. So Ursula joins us once again. And we're off to go to Baron. And meanwhile, Kane is heading to Damseon. But can Seador and Hood save, uh, go, go to Damseon in time? And what the hell is going on in Damseon right now anyways? Find out next time on Final Fantasy IV The After Years. This is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.